What's going on everybody? This is Igers back here again. Today I'm gonna show you how to monitor website certificates uh, with uh, Zabbix Agent 2 by using official template. But um, the point of this video is uh, to have a little bit improvement. Uh, I think that there is a, a possibility to do it better than inside the official template. So let's start. Uh, here on screen, uh, what we see, it's, it's like um, the template which needs to be uh, in Zabbix instance and the template will actually utilize Zabbix Agent 2. Uh, if your uh, server's running Agent 1, then it's not possible, but um, yeah, we can always uninstall Agent 1 and install Agent 2, which is in general having more capabilities. What I will do right now, I will like show that um, uh, we will use uh, proxy uh, in my setup. We will use proxy to monitor the like a lot of websites. And at first, uh, I, I will show that inside my proxy, uh, when when I uh, grab the agent packages, uh, we see like um, agent two is there. Here it is, and uh, this practically means like uh, Zabbix proxy will ask local agent two, please um, check when the certificate will expire for this website and for webs this website and, and uh, so on. So you can use a single Zabbix agent two to monitor like a lot of websites. Uh, so that's the prerequisite. Like you, you, we have a proxy, we have agent two inside uh, the proxy. Now this is the official template and I will open this template and click the clone here and um, let's remove the description and put a name like modification. And in my case, I like to keep in a different group. So this is template my. Under the macro section, we will remove a little bit com complexity here uh, just for you to look very simple. I will remove, uh, I will uh, keep only the trigger threshold, like when uh, the warning should come, like seven days uh, before the certificate ends. That will be the only va variable here. So adding the template. And now the modifications, like inside the um, item section, we can um, do better. And my point is, uh, in, in the World Wide Web, uh, in the Internet, if you, you are hosting something uh, publicly, most likely we are not using custom port, like this second variable like we are not customizing port and uh, that's practically my uh, audience for this video. Like if that's the case when you don't need to hard code any custom port, then like this tutorial is just for you. And uh, so what I will do, I will edit this temp, this uh, like key and replace quite everything with a built-in macro host dot host and comma four four three. And uh, this uh, will is this will be the built-in. Uh, this is built-in macro, and um, the big benefit is like it will it the, the the whole solution will have as little maintenance cost as possible. Like the 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 best possible scenario, if you need to set up twenty uh, different hosts, then this will be very ideal. Okay, so let's create this. So I did modify the official item key, uh, remove the custom port number, remove the IP address. And now what's the complexity? Like this is a customized template. Now a data collection hosts, uh, create new host. The group will be web websites. And I will start with one host distrowatch.com. And I will link that template over here, like mod. Uh, click and I need to ask the proxy like the proxy is running the agent to click uh, do uh, that's one my proxy and then like this is important like the proxy is running a local agent and I'm asking this local agent please help me to detect when this site will uh, like the certificate will expire and that is everything like uh, in the default template we usually need to go to the macro and kind of like copy this field again and and that's like kind of like waste of time like if we use full qualified domain name and it listens already on the default https and uh, the default port then we can completely 
avoid doing anything in the macro section and that's the beauty that's the reason why i'm making this video uh, so let's see how it works uh, add so now to illustrate the how easy now is to enter another host so all we need to do is open this guy clone and i open here and write like linked in and uh, add and um, like open again clone and um, like uh, www.zabbix.com add and maybe another site click uh, by the way did you know like if, like sometimes if you miss to click the clone button you can still click it later uh, for now like instagram and I, I i just noticed i forgot to click the clone button but it's fine you can still click it right now clone and add and it will not destroy the previous host uh, and it, this works like in all Zavix versions you can click the clone later once you <laughs> uh, notice that uh, it's maybe too late but it's not too late okay and the result like it's running this modified template if I go to the search type here web and enter uh, I have the dedicated host group where all those four hosts are inside latest data uh, click latest data and here like I can search expire enter uh, expires on and we can see like my hosts are uh, uh, like it's already checking uh, this is the beauty of Zabbix 7.0 if you use the default uh, refresh update frequency the uh, data will come so fast uh, and um, yeah it, it, it's like it's already saying like when e each site will is about to expire and if I reload the page then also like the last uh, Instagram is there and here we can see like when it ends in year 2024 tw September in the 25 and and so on yeah so that's it for uh, this video um, so uh, if you find this useful um, give it a thumbs up and uh, happy Zabbixing goodbye